why did I want to write Leaving Skatomaville? Besides the fact of our current events in history providing you with all of the onus provande, all the evidence that you need that people in general are freaked out contrary to the actual evidence. And yeah, the evidence is pretty steep and horrible. Potentially a quarter million people will lose their life from COVID-19. And this is the 1st of April. But almost that number are expected to commit suicide because they've lost hope. They've lost perspective. They've lost their sense of way. They don't know what's going on inside of here and here, and they don't know how to fix, you know, their gut and how to listen to their core. And why did I want to write it? Because I found my way. Three Trans Americas, 30, how many? 46 years as an entrepreneur. I've done an experienced a lot of life, eight world records. I've done a lot of things. The hardest and the most rewarding was that personal Everest. That expedition to self-awareness. Holy cow, why did I want to write Leaving Scotomaville? Because I found a few mile posts and I found a way to put a few markers down. And I hope that that's gonna be sufficient to both interest and hold your attention and help you recall the tools at the time you need it to make progress in the time you have for the sake of those around you, your family, your friends, your peers. Yeah, that's why I wrote it. We're gonna start laughing after a while, but one of the absolutely essential tools in leaving Skatomaville is to go take a walk. Time out. We're taking the trash out. Ready? Here we go. You're going to find over time that this is some of the most wonderful diffuse time where you get to think about stuff, do things in your mind. You're going to learn how to dump the trash without ever touching anything. Yeah, self-awareness is a good thing. Welcome to Skatomaville. I'm really uh, excited for you. I have had to stumble and fumble and find my way in the dark. I've learned from some really cool people for decades. Long list of mentors, most of them passed away, but their words live on. And so why am I writing Skatomaville? Because I wanted to pass on to you some of the essential things I have found in getting to a state of fulfillment, leaving my blind spots, leaving my lack of awareness behind me. And in this very first episode, I'm going to define Skatoma. It's already a term that is defined, and I'm just going to pass that on to you. You already know it, but you don't. <laughs> a scotoma is an area in the field of our vision, right? In the area that we look, that we don't literally see what's there. I'm going to quote this a lot. We don't see things the way they are. We see things the way we are. 
and there's some things missing in our awareness. And I'm going to prove that to you. And over the next series of lessons, I'm going to give you tools to empower you to build your self-awareness, which will change your belief system, and that'll affect your habits, and eventually you'll change lanes and the destiny for yourself and your family. We're in the information era. You don't have the requirement of having inherited land or an industry or even to have been born in a particular class. You see, information can set you free. So a scotoma is the very first thing I want you to understand. The very first. It's the starting point of awareness. And that is, we don't even see things the way they are. <laughs> I'm going to prove it to you. I want you to get an index card or a piece of paper and fold it into little pieces. But an index card will work. And what I want you to do is draw a plus on one side and a dot on the other. Draw this about the size of a ladybug. And now here goes the exercise. I'm going to prove to you that you don't see things the way they are. You think you do. You believe you understand the way the world is. Not so. Nay, nay. It's not that way. So here's what you need to do. Put this plus in front of this eye. Okay. Close the other eye. And move this card out about 12 inches. 12 to 16 inches, and fixate. I mean, stare. Stare straight at this with the open eye, okay? And move this card away slowly, and right there, literally, I cannot see the dot. Let me do it this way for you. Right there, the dot is gone. Right there, gone, I see it, I don't, I see it. Okay, this dot will disappear off the page when you're staring at that. That's called a scotoma, a blind spot. Now you can do it in both eyes. Cover this eye, fixate, right? Put it right in front of this. Fixate on this, I mean, close this one, fixate on the other. Move it out, right there, 12 inches or so in the three by five card, 12 inches or so. And you can see it out of the peripheral vision until there's a range. Let me do it out here. Boom, I, don't, I do not see it. I can see the plants around it. I can see the lake. I can see my hand, I see the card. I see this dot, I mean the plus. And that, wherever it is, this right here, is gone. Yeah, crazy. Try it. I'll wait for you. Get your card. Okay, I got you, Daniel. I don't see a dot. Big deal. It's just a dot. What's the matter? Who cares? Let me tell you. <laughs> That's just the beginning. That's just the starting point. That's a physical scotoma. That's just a little blind spot that all mammals have. We also share psychological scotomas. We all have cognitive bias. We all have arrested development. We all have walled gardens. We all have beliefs that are not true. You'll hear me say this a lot. I'm 100% wrong 50% of the time. Becoming aware is the very first step of a long journey. <laughs> a very challenging, but a very, very rewarding journey. It's a personal Everest. And things are going to get thin up there. And you're 
you don't want to take crap off because you don't need to carry it all the way. It's stuff that's not doing you well. It's beliefs, attitudes, behaviors that you can change. And we're going to get into all of that. But for now, just remember, we don't see things the way they are. We see things the way we are. I'd like you to see that this is a journey. It's not, you get there instantly. I've come to an Amazon locker. And because I've been cleaning my hands so much, touch screens don't work on my fingers anymore, but guess what works? And I was like, wait a minute. You can stick these into a bottle of alcohol and clean these super easy. You can stick them in your pocket. You can activate almost anything you need to touch, like the, uh, you know, the terminals at the store. You don't have to be doing it in your fingers. Okay. Hello.